Okay, this is your polymer tensile testing uh, this, today. Uh, we're using three polymers. This one here, this clear one without, without the line, is polycarbonate. The creamy one is polyethylene. The one with the black line at the top of the tab here, that is polystyrene, okay? So that's how you identify the two here. Now, what you need to do for your lab is you need to measure your specimens. The best way to do that, and, and you have to set a gauge length. So you're going to find the center of your specimen, move over three quarters of an inch, make a line, move over to the other side, three quarters of an inch, and make a line. That's your gauge length. Okay? So you're going to do it, you're going to mark up all your specimens because you're going to break every one of these. Then after you get done breaking them, you have to put them back together and remeasure them. Okay? So what you need to do is measure your gauge length your thickness and uh, the width of your specimen. Okay? Okay, now this is your polymer testing. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take all your samples, each one, one from each group, and break them at 10 inches a minute with a cross that speed of 10 inches a minute. Okay? The second run you're going to do, you're going to break your polycarbonate and polyethylene at and polystyrene at two inches a minute. Okay? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to find the maximum load it took to break your PC and your uh, PE and calculate 70% of that load. Okay? Then you're going to run your, your PC and uh, PE uh, up to that 70% load and pause the machine. There's a pause on there. So you have to click, click uh, pause. For two minutes. You let it sit there for two minutes. Then after that you can push uh, resume and then you go ahead and break your specimen. Okay, to load your specimen inside the jaws, you want to lock it into right about there. Okay, so we're going to place it in here like so. Now I'm going to have to jog up to move my head, okay? So here's your jog, up and down. I'm going to jog it up. Place. Now I'm going to jog it up a little bit more. Your specimen's been loaded. Okay, that's all you got to do. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. The program you're going to use for your polymer testing is Blue Hill 3. So we're going to open that up. Okay, now here you put your username and password, and it's student, student. It's right. There's a worksheet right here, instruction sheet, that tells you exactly what to do. Okay, now we're at the program. So you want to come down here to test. Click on that. Now here are the tests that are programmed on this machine. We're going to use the polymer tensile test. So we're going to double click on that. Okay, now here, it's best if you come over here and uh, go to next. Okay. This is where you want to put your name. Uh, I'm just going to put something in there. Chorus, whatever you want to put in there, uh, whatever you want to do. Now, this is the rate that the cross head is going to go, how fast the head moves up and down. Okay, so in the first test, you're going to break all your samples, one of each group, at 10 inches a minute. So we're going to change this to 10. Okay. That's not the best point. Ten 
10 inches a minute, okay? Now we're going to come up here and go to next. Now this is where you enter in the values you measured on your specimen. So it should be at 0.5 width. And the thickness should be at 0.125, someplace in that area. Okay? So we're ready to go. Now I'm going to come up here and go to next. And then come over here to start. Now it's running. Okay, now this next step is very important. If you don't do this, item 13 on this worksheet, you're going to lose your data. So you come down here to go to finish. You come over here and go right to finish sample. And you're going to do a yes because we're going to do another test. Okay? That's it. That's all you have to do. Okay? Now what do that 70%? Good to go. Okay, after you've broken all your specimens, now you need to find the maximum load that the specimen broke at here at uh, number three. Find 70% of that maximum load, okay? We're going to run now at two inches a minute. So we're going to run at two inches a minute. Once it reaches that maximum load, load you're going to have to pause it. There's a pause right here. Pause it and wait two minutes and then resume, okay? So we're going to go ahead and run with it. There's two minutes right there. Okay, again, the width and thickness. So we're going to go ahead and start. Next, we're going to start. Okay, so it's running. So right now I'm going to say this is the maximum load, 70% of the maximum load. Pausing. Now I'm going to wait for two minutes. Okay, let's say we went to two minutes. I'm going to resume now. I'm going to resume is right there, so it's going to resume the test. Now it's going to go ahead and break your specimen. Stop the machine. I'm going to finish. Finish sample. Yes. And then we're going to remove your part. This is where you would put your samples back together and remeasure your gauge line. That's pretty much it.